Okay, enough. Hello everyone, this is your, your daily, daily dose of internet. internet. What? Oh my god. Okay. What, did it hit the doorbell? This random tire was traveling at about 40 miles per hour when it crashed into the front door of this home. Who do you gotta complain about that? <laughs> Chonky cat. <laughs> Yo, that looks so sketch, man. Looks fun, but... Oh my god, that's so sketchy. In case you didn't know, snakes are capable of making this sound with their bodies. Ah! God. This guy got kidnapped by his roommates in the middle of his college class. Uh-oh. As Isaac was talking about, uh... Oh my gosh, Benjamin has just been removed by his roommates. A whale shark was found with a large rope wrapped around it, so these divers swam down and cut it loose. That's nice. Oh, I was saying, um, when you go fast on a skateboard, you get speed wobbles. That really scares me, dude. Even just going downhill fast, that scares me. Speed wobbles, like, the next thing you know, you're gonna face plant. That's nice. Oh, it's deformed. Oh, oh. <laughs> this guy did a prank that made people believe that they were sitting in wet paint when it was actually dry. Ah, oh, did. There's no rule stating that your ticket for an airplane has to be a certain size, so these guys printed out an absolutely massive boarding pass. <laughs> you know airports are like kind of assholes though? They can just like reject it. <laughs> this artist likes to draw random people on the train. That's insane detail, dude. What the hell? That fast? Woody, Woody. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's so the end cute. of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Letter. Okay. Hello everyone, this is your, your daily, daily dose of internet. internet. This person has a pet squirrel that loves a good massage. Squirrel. Wolf. This dad got his daughter a pet pig and she started crying tears of joy. <laughs> A photographer captured some incredible video footage on top of mountains in Norway. It's like another planet, dude. Isn't that difficult to breathe when you're really high up? This police officer pulled over this woman and gave her an $80 ticket because she was driving with a broken rear light. Uh, get you to sign there with the excess. So you don't even give a warning for this? You've been driving around for six months like that. I'm truthful. She refused to pay for the ticket, which means the officer had to arrest her. You're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm placing you under arrest. She decided that she didn't want to pay for the ticket and drove away. Get out of the car. You did not have to taser me. You wouldn't comply. You wouldn't get out. And then you tried to kick me. So, Why? yes, I did. 
Yeah, I tried to kick you because yeah. I'm a country girl. Because no, I and didn't. You got like taste because of it. I, I don't want to get into it, dude. Some people think they actually have rights. A photographer found a rare white lion cub in South Africa. It's estimated that there's only about 15 white lions in the wild. And by rights, I mean, you know, more rights than they actually do have. That's stupid. Oh, that's so cool. Is that albino or is it just like a rare variant? These guys started going around and inviting random people to join their water gun fight. <laughs> a bird in Uganda is using the wind to hover with very little effort. When you're uh, playing an online shooter and you start lagging? <laughs> oh no. That's the end of this video. Hopefully oh. it made your day a little better and a little brighter. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This person owns an overly aggressive romantic cat. Stop. No. <laughs> He's putting moves on her. <laughs> Jeez, dude. A few days ago, over 200 people grabbed a scooter and drove through the streets of Los Angeles. The police weren't too happy about the situation. Scooters are such a soy mode of transportation. Such soy. These two Americans took a train ride through a part of China that doesn't get very many tourists, and people couldn't stop staring. That's fucking rude. This bartender noticed that a man was choking and rushed over. What a champ. After a few thrusts, the food was dislodged and the man's life was saved. What a champ. <gasps> There's a type of bird that will dive underwater and grab the sucker fish that are stuck on whale sharks for a good meal. That's interesting. Damn, those suckers are on their tight. What? Did I suck blood or something? That audio is gonna be edited. This person took 99 phones, put them in a wagon, and started walking down an empty street and instantly created a traffic jam on Google Maps. Oh my god. What a troll. It's registering as 99 people. So they assume that oh, there's 99 cars going down that one way. So it updates the map to see it's, say it's a uh, traffic jam. A company developed a new <laughs> type of cast that allows it to get wet or dirty. What? Oh, is it because the oh um, ah oh, yeah 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 I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very very soon. Later.
<laughs> Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This person bought a meal from McDonald's and then left it in her closet for 24 years. After 24 years, the food never broke down or decomposed. Fries. What? How much preservatives are put in the food when it's not break down, dude? They just look like fries that just, you know, like fell on the floor of your car and you didn't find them for a month. 20, wait, 24 years. Yikes. It didn't break down. The bread has never molded. As a what? matter of fact, it's not even cracked. It's pretty dry and brittle. But there's no mold on it. No mold. Okay, you know how I said I love, I actually like McDonald's earlier? I was saying I double think that. Yikes, dude. What the hell? We eat that. Mold and it never rotted at all. That's crazy. For some reason, this hamster has a knife. <laughs> the next, the next Dark Souls boss. <laughs> this man suffers from Parkinson's disease, but thanks to deep brain stimulation, he is able to control his body at the push of a button. Turning it back on. Wait, that's insane. Wow. What's deep brain stimulation? Is it like electric pulses to interrupt the um whatever's causing it? In case you didn't know, you have two large bones in your forearm. When yeah. your palms are facing up, they are perpendicular and don't touch, but when your palms are facing down, the bones cross each other. Yeah, um when you rotate your arm, you don't rotate it at the wrist like a lot of um, video games like to do. You actually rotate your full forearm. It's always one of my pet peeves for when I do art. I see people rotate the, uh, the, the model hands, but you're meant to rotate the hands and the forearm. But isn't that also what causes the... Um, for people who work at, like at their computers too much when they just sit there and they type and then they, they pinch their nerves. Yeah, ergonomics. That's why ergonomic keyboards are like, sorry, uh, upright. So that you keep your arm like this instead of like rotating it because you end up pinching your, um, your nerves. This company made a window that can transform into a balcony. Yeah, nah, nah, I'm good. If I can't stomp it, nah. You're gonna scuff the glass, man. <laughs> right, dude. There's something called a talk box that lets you make some pretty interesting sounds. I love my talk box, baby. That sounds like Daft Punk. Around the world. That's pretty cool. <laughs> What's a sound? Here's how effective different face coverings are at stopping your breath. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Later.